Hello everybody, it's Mick from Just the Bushcraft. Um, in a recent bundle of items I acquired, I came across this which caught my eye. Um, this is the TL122 uh, angled flashlight. Now, the reason I'm referring to it as a flashlight is because this was a um, US issue piece of kit. Um, here in the UK we call it a torch. Uh, but in the US they refer to them as flashlights, so uh, that's what I'm going to refer to it as. Um, now, it caught my eye because I thought it looked quite interesting. I thought there might be a bit of history behind it. Um, so I went on the internet and uh, I did some digging. Um, in World War II, the uh, standard army flashlight that was issued was the TL-122, uh, which has the 90 degree angled head. Um, there were four versions uh, issued over a period of time. The first one that came out was the 122A uh, and that was originally made in brass. Um, I think they then went on to steel and then uh, from there on it went on to the uh, TL122B which was the first model made in plastic. Um, I believe the plastic um, had a strange wax coating on it that made it smell really bad. Um, which the, the guys weren't too keen on. Uh, I think they were painted in the olive olive green, the dr olive drab green, um, and then they went on through C, Model C, and then on to Model D. Uh, now the, the Model D uh, came out uh, and that had a set of filters which were in the base, contained in a little container here in the base, um, attached to the bottom of the body of the flashlight. Uh, and these these filters would fit on into this end cap uh, and could be used well actually what again I've did some more research on this and what uh, it seems that they were used for the different colored filters were used for the different battalions uh, for assembly purposes and um, the red one was for the first battalion the white was for the second blue for the third um, there, are, there are other coloured filters in there but uh, it's yet to be sort of discovered as to what they were for. I suppose they could be used for other signalling techniques. Um, and this, this mod, well no, not this model, the D model uh, was introduced in 1944. Um, the, the, the D was the, the last uh, wartime manufactured flashlight um, and I don't think the Model D was actually used by the American forces but it was reissued uh, to the French after the war. Um, uh, the Crooknet the flashlight uh, continued to be manufactured after the war uh, and I believe it's still used by some armed forces uh, worldwide. Um, it, manufacturing wasn't limited to America. Uh, some Chinese models were produced and are very common. Um, which I think this is probably one of. Um, it's just, this is just the, I don't know if you can see that, this is just the TL122, there's no actual suffix after it. Um, so if it doesn't have the letter after it, then it's not regarded as a sort of World War II uh, collectible sort of model. But uh, interesting nonetheless. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to do a bit of a, uh, a breakdown and a review on this uh, so you can have a bit of a closer look at it. Right, like I say, um, it's pretty safe to say this is a post-war post -war model. Um, I'll, I'll just give you a few um, specifications on it. With the batteries, it weighs 444 grams. Uh, so it's by no means a light piece of kit. Uh, it measures 21 centimeters from end to end uh, which is about 8 inches. Um, okay so now we'll, uh, we'll go through the separate aspects of the torch. You've got the clip on the back which can be uh, used to hold it onto your belt but what I think it was mainly used for was so that the, uh, the soldiers could use it hands free. That will be attached to um, wearing straps on the jackets, things like that, um, which would mean they could work hands-free. 
uh, you've got the main body of the torch uh, you've got the switch there in the on off in the off position you go forward one and that is for the signaling position you've got the button there which allows you to signal and then push again and you've got the on position it's quite a bright torch actually it's, uh, it's quite a good torch so that's that and it's got the little side panels on this particular version the earlier versions didn't have these I don't think um, which sort of stops the button from being accidentally pressed I presume uh, so that's the switch part you've got the head of the torch 90 degree angle you've got the adapter ring there which takes the lenses the filter lenses which I'll show you in a minute and then you've got the main head of the torch which houses the bulb which can be removed um, this, in, this torch incidentally is black in colour so if there's anybody who knows a bit more about these uh, I don't know whether the colour gives away a sort of idea of age or when it was issued or anything like that so that's that end of the torch you come down to the other end uh, you've got a hanging clip there which just tucks away there's a little sort of square cut out there I'm not quite sure what that's for I don't know if that's to do with something inside I'm not sure uh, but at the bottom you unscrew the bottom bit and that houses the lenses so you've got a blue lens a green lens sort of yellowy colour and the red one and like I said before uh, it seems they were used for assembly purposes uh, for the different battalions but that one and possibly that one uh, may have been used for other types of signalling I don't know red amber green stop go hang fire who knows maybe somebody else to tell me that so that's the bottom part like I've just shown you they just slip into there like that back on the end and then you've got your signalling so that's quite nifty quite like that ok so that's your filters and then in the bottom you unscrew this there's the batteries they're just the big the big ones there and in the bottom of here the battery spring unscrews and in there you can just see in there there is a spare bulb which is also quite handy so that's good to have and that just pushes back into there like that and back on there and the filters back in there Now I know from, like I say, the research I did, the uh, filters only came into play in the Model D and the spare bulb in the bottom as well, that wasn't in the uh, original models. So, uh, so there you go, that's the TL122, it's uh, quite a nice little torch, uh, it's made of plastic obviously this one, it's black in colour it's got the side panels for the switch and the uh, filters and the spare bulb so if anybody can maybe give me some more information on that I, I would very much appreciate it and if you've got any history on it or web links 
when I can read more about it that'd be great okay that's the TL122 90 degree angled flashlight as issued to the US um, and I believe they use them in Vietnam but uh, I'm not 100% sure okay I hope that was of interest to you and I hope you enjoyed that I would uh, look forward to your comments and any information you may have okay thanks for watching